what's going on everyone thank you so much for watching my name is savannah and if you're new here thank you so much for joining us we are back in planet zoo playing franchise in Tali Zoo, which is the zoo that we have on hard mode. And in the last episode, we kind of did some updating it to our jaguar habitat, but also prepared for some clouded leopards right over here. In addition to, I actually have been thinking a lot about our aardvarks, and I think I want to change them out for the Babarusa. And so let me just check real quick if it doesn't say anything on here, I guess, about them getting, yeah, confident, right? That means that they shouldn't get too stressed. Let's come in comparison to the aardvark here. Shy, yes. So the Babarusa should hopefully not be as afraid and it only needs 290 square meters. The aardvark actually needs more, so that's great, which means we should be able to really easily change this into a Babarusa habitat. Why are you in a box anyway? Oh, is somebody picking you up? Let's hit play and see what happens. Oh, the vet's picking them up there. So yeah, so it means that we probably can really easy turn this into a Babarusa habitat uh, without too many changes. We'll take a look at what they want for foliage and things like that. But that's the plan today. Uh, facility having, I would not call that significant. <laughs> that is a bit dramatic and overstated. What if we just put, just to, uh, get rid of this real quick so I can finish telling the people what the plan is for today without being so rudely interrupted. Um, so anyway, I don't know if there will be a time lapse today because I just kind of want to get some things done. This looks hideous, but it is solely just for the decorating purposes. I apologize. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if there'll be a time lapse today. We will just have to play it by ear and see. There we go. Beautiful. I didn't even get it over the whole thing, but there we go. Hopefully that helps. <laughs> a little bit of scenery might just decrease that by a little bit or not. Or is it talking about this? Can we, uh, I'll just get rid of that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and see. Oh, we have a diseased animal that got taken to the vet. So that is being taken care of. I also want to, let's look at our research real quick because I've just realized I want to, not vet research, mechanic research. I want to use the Australian pieces, those um, metal beams, because I don't believe they're climbable. And in our leopard or in our jaguar slash clouded leopard habitat, I see I had to cover it up with this. I use these wooden pieces, but they're climbable. So they offered an escape route. So I'm hoping that I can just kind of switch those out with the metal pieces and see if that doesn't help us uh, take care of that. Let's get rid of this real quick. I wish I could say hi to people, but I cannot. Nope, still no saying hi to people. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for today. Why? Why must we put trash cans absolutely everywhere for you guys? You guys are impossible. That's a donation bin. Where am I going? So anyway, how are you guys enjoying, those of you that have it, the Southeast Asia Animal Pack? I am so excited about the animals that are there, so so excited to get them all implemented here. So let's see, there should not be anybody in there, and we'll just have to um, pay attention to if they bring the um, that aardvark back. But let's go ahead and get rid of this and see if we just get some babarusas and put them in there how they will do. Uh, Galapagos, why? I thought you, oh no. They grew up and I didn't notice. They, they, hold on, pause. They did grow up and I didn't notice, right? Because here's, this is another baby. They should have been, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Why do I have so many adult tortoises? They grew up and I didn't notice. And now one of them is expecting offspring again. Right, that's what that notification was? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Nobody panic, it's okay. So let's see, you're on contraceptives. You're not on contraceptives. So why am I missing a male tortoise that should also be on contraceptives. Or did we only, I think we only put the female on contraceptives, huh? That might've been our biggest problem. So 
Let's see. We have these should be the... That's the other thing that I need to do is I need to label them. That might be the dad because this one is the mom and they're the same age. And then this one and this one are the babies. So let's do this. So you, no more contraceptives. You, or yes, contraceptives, sorry, no more babies. You contraceptives as well. And what we'll do is we'll actually keep these three and you are going to go... Let's check there. Yeah, it's not so great. Are your stats a little bit? A little better. So immunity is a little bit better. So let's go ahead and release you into the wild. Yes, into the wild. And then what we'll do, we have one baby, two baby. And I believe these are, are these born? No, so these are still part of our original ones. So what we'll do, I'm trying to think if we want to keep, does anybody have better stats than, so yours are not too bad, you're better than your parents. Yours are better, and then yours are not great. Yours, yours are okay. So maybe, okay, what we'll do is we'll keep Pi Dad as the uh, mom. We'll just, lay, no, we're gonna label, uh, female for that so that is our female and then we need a new male for her but we're going to have to adopt one because no matter what we only have two tortoises right and all their offspring are coming from those guys so we're not going oh does that mean that you inbred that's bad that that definitely mean that she inbred okay this tortoise chaos <laughs> okay, so, oh, we also have a Pydad giant otter. Same name. What did we get? Some good news. Great. Awesome. Okay, and what's this? Vet research complete already. Uh, awesome for the jaguar. Okay, so tortoise issues aside, let's go ahead. Yeah, so those guys are on contraceptives, which is great. And so are you. Unfortunately, we're going to have some inbred babies there, and so we'll just really need to make sure we pay attention to the alerts over there of when they're about to uh, mature so that we can put these guys on contraceptives right away. Um, but we'll keep this female here, the baby of these two, as for our next generation. And so while I'm talking about that, let's go ahead and check here. You're on, you're not. See, this is my problem, is I put only the females on contraceptives. So fortunately, we've caught, and caught it with the Aldebra tortoise. Oh, that's the giant otter. Okay, no worries on that. So you, how are you the alpha female? The baby is the alpha female of the group. Let's see what, um, what animals we have in here. Actually, you know what, let's just go to our list. Let's just go to our list and go uh, species here. So we want giant otters. So we have, we have Pydad and then we have, oh, is he's labeled as a gold one. That's good, okay. What are your, uh, ooh, that's fantastic. But are you, you're not one we adopted, right? No. Yeah, you are. I didn't think we adopted a, a animal appeal with a gold here okay that's great so we'll make you we'll keep you here and we'll do uh d for dad so er no we'll do male m for male because that's what we did for the other one we did female right so m there for that so that will be the father for the next generation there which means because do you have siblings that are in here? This is where it's going to get real confusing, I feel, real fast. Yeah, so your siblings are those two. So Pi Dad and Pedro. So there's Pi Dad, so we don't want you doing anything. And here's Pedro, we don't want you doing anything. That's right, because we had an otter pass away. Did we have two otters pass away? Probably, right? Okay, so if that is a... Excuse me. If that is a male, then we want a female otter. So let's go ahead and get... Actually, I don't think I need to pause it. Not too much chaos can break out, right? <laughs> let's go to this filter here. 
and get a giant otter. Confirm. And we need a female. And I want to use our conservation credits. And remember, we don't want just the best ones. So this one actually doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit older. Here's another female. There's a female. Oh, but look at it's It's good. Why is it so good? <laughs> we want one that's a little bit poor in their genes here. This is probably our best bet. They're a little bit older, but I think it's okay. So let's go ahead and adopt them. Go ahead and send them to the zoo. Where's our quarantine? Where did I put it? Now that I put roofs on everything. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So that will go to quarantine. Did our aardvark get back from the vet? Yes. Okay. So trading center for you, please. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, we got another gift. Great. I will take that thousand dollars. Beautiful. Awesome. Look at this. I don't want to jinx it, but no chaos is breaking loose. Okay. So we got a new otter. We'll wait for them to pass quarantine. Let's go to animal trading. Let's go figure out our Babarusa here. So no giant otter. We want Babarusa. These guys are so funny looking. Their little tusks are the most bizarre things. Let's go ahead and confirm that. Okay. So Babarusa. Wow. You're expensive. People are already breeding these guys and selling them at a huge profit, apparently. Okay, you are not so great. Uh, money I don't really want to use. So maybe, why? That is expensive. No, no. What's this? 40, this one's 45. Not so old. So two years. Okay, so that's our male. Great. I know the genes aren't aren't terrible, terrible, but at least it doesn't have like an appeal rating that we can, you know, breed up to. So that's our male. Now we want a female, which we may. Oh, it looks like, yeah, we are going to have to. Uh, we are going to have to pay for, huh? Oh, no. Here's one. There we go. Perfect. Go. And I didn't. I don't remember. Um, let me see. How many? One male, four females. Well, let's just start with one and two for now. So let's go ahead and get them into quarantine as well. Quarantine's over here. I love this multiple select uh, ability now. It's great. So go ahead and send them to quarantine. Great. And did somebody... No, that's not what I wanted to select. This. Are you done now? Yes. So move. Great. To your habitat over here. Awesome. Oh, and we need to rename that one, right? Did we not move it? There. Okay. And then we re need to rename this one as well, right? So I think I have to wait until it actually goes in the habitat. Quarantine staff queuing. They'll be fine. Can you go ahead and move them in? Let's see. Where is our otter? Hopefully they'll be coming very soon. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And let's go ahead and name this one for female. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, Juanita, female, let's see, great. So, now the otters at least are squared away. Not such a catastrophe like the tortoises were, but perfect. And then let's see, did these guys pass their quarantine? Uh, under quarantine, under quarantine. Okay, so they're, they're still going, still going, okay. But yeah, then we will get them in this habitat over here. And, and like I said, hopefully they do a whole lot better. Um, I think it'll be kind of perfect, right? We might want to um, might want to get them different enrichment items. Great. Ready to leave. You are and you are beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and put them in there. And speed up time. Get them rushed over right away. Let's see. I feel like I'm going to be really unproductive in this episode. I mean, I guess not. But there's just a lot of things I want to get done. <laughs> but yeah, let's take a look at these guys. So there's our girl. Males and females are obviously really easy to tell apart. And there's our male. Let's go ahead and label these guys just because there are only two, right? So we want... Uh, this one is the... Whoops. This one is the female. And you, sir... Our, our male, the call, uh, male, great, perfect. We're gonna start to get organized here. Where did the female go? She like ran off in one direction. I guess I should check if they could escape first, right? So let's let's just double check here. 
Awesome. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so they can't escape. It looks like it's the right size for them. Yep, beautiful, perfect. Okay, so they have a little bit too much long grass and not enough sand. That's interesting, they like sand. Okay, so let's just kind of get rid of this and maybe some sand over here and up along the sides here will be some sand. Perfect, a little bit more they want. Great, that was, that was like a super easy transition there. Awesome, and let's see, uh, oh, not enough soil now. Whoops, whoopsies. Let's give you a little bit more soil back. A little bit there, okay. And then as far as plants go, right along the lines of the coverage that they want, so we really honestly don't even need to change anything. Let's see, let me get rid of, um, I know this is probably an easier way to do this, but let's just go ahead and get rid of all of the enrichment. And then we can see if we go down here, we'll just start from scratch. That way I make sure. I know you guys are telling me that I can like type these out, but I just kind of prefer to do it this way, um, to be honest. <laughs> oh, they can use the new scratching tree. That's awesome. Okay, so let's see why can I not put it right here? It would be great if you could have enough. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, we'll just put it right here front and center. No big deal. So let's put you right there. Yeah, I want to see them use the scratching tree. That's really cool. Okay, so they've got a scratching tree. They've got bedding in there already. Um, we need a food feeder. I almost said a fooder. <laughs> we need a feeder. Put that right over there so people can get a nice close view of them eating. Oh, they can use this. That's interesting. Uh, we need a box. So what is that? Wait, what does that count as? So... Okay, so that's toy enrichment, the um, the tree. The box is toy enrichment, and then we need some food enrichment. So we need this little thing right here, the little foraging thingy, and then this, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fit this. Uh, it would have had to go like right here. So let's leave that off for now, and hopefully if we do some research, let's go ahead and check if we can put one of these guys on our Babarusa and we can unlock a couple more things. But yeah, there we go. Oh, look at them. It's got a little janky in here putting the enrichment item down. It kind of ruined the terrain a little bit. They're kind of ugly in a cute way, right? <laughs> They're so wrinkly. Wrinkly little animals. Here we are. Maybe we'll redo this a little bit more because is this really dirty? Ooh, that's really dirty. Why? Is it not being filtered? Uh-oh. Uh, nope. Nope. Oh, it's not being filtered. <gasps> Bad. Okay. Go to facilities and utilities, and we'll get a water treatment. We'll get one right over here, so it's nice and close. Perfect. We'll put it... Let's put it right on the end of this fence here. Right there. And then hopefully the negative impact is not too... To, oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll have to decorate that as well. But nobody should be coming over here right now, so that should be okay. I'm going to leave it. Famous last words. It should be okay, right? Go ahead and leave it for now. Um, we do need to add it to the work zone, right? Because I can't forget about work zones. Where's our everything work zone? Everything work zone. Edit. Go ahead and add that. Perfect. Okay. Great. All right, guys. We are, we are doing good, right? Awesome. Wow, we have a lot of flamingos. <laughs> but yeah, look at our Babarusas. Awesome. <gasps> Are you going to use it? He is. Oh, look at him. He's a little itchy piggy. He didn't quite touch it, but that's okay. He got close enough. Did you scratch that itch? Oh, how cute. How cute. Oh, we got a new little thingy. Uh, we want... Oh, release into the wild and souvenir profits. Okay. All right. Hurry up and have babies because I want to see the baby piggies. <laughs> Get to business. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out if we can see about getting some clouded leopards because those are definitely 100% my favorite. So let's go ahead and confirm. Clouded leopards here. Oh, I want to adopt the best ones, but no, we are sticking... Ooh, there we go. Okay, so that's a female. Five years old, not too bad. Frontier Zoo. Okay, so that's our female. Where's our male? Uh, uh, may 
right. Oh, that's a female again. Let's refresh this. Here's a male. Oh, your jeans are too good. That one's too expensive. The clouded leopards are expensive, but I'm not surprised. Maybe we just go ahead and take this one. Just because it's the least conservation credits. We only have 1,200 left. Okay, perfect. So let's grab you and you and send you to quarantine. Great. Oh, our tortoise. I should sound more excited, but you were not supposed to have babies. <laughs> it was not supposed to happen. So can you hurry up and have your babies now? Speed it up. Look, even at three times speed, they don't even move that fast. I know, we probably should get a second quarantine. It keeps yelling at me that they're full, but... Well, no, you know what? No, because we only use it, like, every once in a while when we bring in a new animal, right? Inspector has arrived at the zoo, so hopefully they like everything. You pick a spot. Great. Two animals are ready to pass, or have passed quarantine, are ready to go in. How many are you having? How many are you having? One, two, three... No. Was that three? Is it just two? Oh, that's great if it's just two. Okay, awesome. How are their jeans? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's that's probably the inbreeding, huh? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. Um, we already put her on contraceptives, right? Can I click on you? We did. Okay. Vet research is complete. Probably the Babarusa, right? Nope, nope. More jaguar. Great. Let's go ahead and get these guys into their habitat, even though their habitat is really blank. It's okay. So go ahead and take you and take you. And I believe actually that I still need to add the clouded leopards exhibit. Oh, I haven't even finished the barrier. Whoops. <laughs> you guys can't go anywhere until I finish the barrier. All right, let's do... Oh. Oh, I don't have a barrier... Um, I don't have an exhibit uh, door, is what I mean. So let's go ahead and put you here and align you with this. Where do I have the entrance over here? I think it's, yeah, it's through this back building right here. So what I think I'll do for this one is we'll just have it go right into the, uh, right into the sleeping area. Yeah, that works. Okay, great. Oh, is this Australia stuff? I sure hope the Australia stuff gets unlocked like with the first first little bit of it, right? That would be great. Okay, so let's do that. And let's now, we can take our clouded leopards because I just want to get these guys in so we can see, so we can see how incredibly cute they are. Let's go over here, put you in, great. And speed up, hurry up. And then while we're waiting, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see. Work zones, we need to create one. Here's the Jaguar work zone. So we just add them to the Jaguar work zone. We'll just call it like the big cat work zone. Look at that. Okay, hold on, wait, we gotta make sure that they're taken care of. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do is let's just do um, Jaguar and uh, Clouded Leopard. Great. That's a really long work title, work zone title, but let's go ahead and edit work zone and we'll add this guy to it. Great. Um, yeah, perfect. And oh, we need to add it to the everything one as well, right? Great. This is a new exhibit. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. Great. Now we're taken care of and let's check them out. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh, they're so pretty. I love these guys. Oh, 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 you're running away real fast. <laughs> Uh-oh. How? Oh, I don't have the climbable stuff on. <gasps> oh, no. Okay, I'm just going to do it because I don't want them to cause a ruckus. Let's edit it. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> oops. Oops, oops, oops. Climbable stuff. Make sure it's on there. That's the wrong side. There. Okay. Climbable stuff. And then let's make sure it is tall enough so that they can't get out. That's better. Did we get it in time? Okay. At least we got it in time for the... Oh, no, we didn't. Yes, we... Oh, we did not. Darn it. You were already in the middle. Okay. Well, 
Let's put you back. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I know they have low welfare. They just escaped. All right. Well, I should check those things before I just... I was too excited. I just was... I was so excited to get them in. <laughs> I just wanted them in the enclosure. Um, let's go ahead and bring over some of this real quick so it can just look... Look not like such a blank... Blank habitat for them. A little bit of pretty foliage makes everything better. Let's go ahead and get you in like... Actually, like so, I think. Along the back side. Okay, take two. So cute. Oh, look at their little tongue. Oh, and they open their mouth like cats do, like they uh like they're smelling, right? They open their mouth a little bit to get a better smell. Look, they're even smaller than the grass as they walk around. Oh, so pretty. And look at the pattern on them. I just I absolutely love love what Frontier did with these guys. So cool. Okay, so let's let's double check here before we go too much further. We need to make sure they are all set up. So we need lots more short grass. Let's go ahead and get rid of a lot of this long grass because I don't feel like they're going to like a whole lot of it. Um, and especially in here because this is going to be their sleeping area. They need a lot of soil, which is fine because we like soil, right? So we're going to make this kind of a heavily tracked area in the front. And then we can kind of do the same thing. Maybe we'll do um, some of their climbing stuff around like this, right? But some tracked areas, like they're walking around. We'll definitely want to get them some water. Uh, they still need a little bit more short grass. So where is their long grass? Probably right here. Perfect. Okay. Oh, it's still a little small. So we'll probably, we'll expand it out this way for them. I know they need some climbing space. And they do need coverage. And they like tropical and temperate. So if we go over here... And we go to biome and temperate and tropical. And then continent would be Asia, of course. Let's go ahead and see what we can do for them. Um, we want to make sure that whatever they have, obviously they can't climb out of. Did we put a tree? We did put a tree. We put one of these trees. Should we just duplicate that over? I kind of like this tree, actually. Can we do, let's do one right here. Raise it up a little bit like that. Great. And this is, this is very quick. I think we will, we'll revisit this in a time lapse. I definitely want to use this. So let's just go ahead and throw it in here so I don't forget. Because I want to base a, a climbing structure thing off of that. Let's see, what else can we use that's in here? I want it to be a little bit more tropically rather than temperate. Ooh, I do like this tree, though. Do we like that one better than this one? Let me see. I think this one... This one looks nice. Put that one here. Are they going to be able to... Let's not rotate it so it's, like, <laughs> hanging over the edge of the enclosure. We don't want a repeat of literally what just happened. Let's see. Does that help for now? Oh, just barely. Okay, so let's grab some. We can do, like, some little bushes in the ground. And again, this is all just extremely quick um, because I do want to give them, like, a, a, a very pretty well-done habitat. But I also just want to kind of get this down so that we don't, uh, we don't have them upset um, at things. That should help because those are trees. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. And then, oh, and then, of course, we need habitat stuff. Let's go ahead and hit play. Let's see what... Oh, they... I think they can use the hammock. So let's see. We probably don't have it unlocked yet. Um, species. So we don't want the Babarusa. We want the clouded leopard. Awesome. So they can use the pumpkin because we had that unlocked for the jaguar. Let's go ahead and put that there. And then what about toys? Um, they can use the scratching thing uh let's go ahead and put this maybe right here right there and then they can also use the scratching tree why can i not put this where i want to it's like it has a really large radius of where it can go um because i kind of want it like right here but it's probably too close to the barrier huh if it goes right there see and why do you have to make really ugly terrain okay you know what we'll just give you this one 
because that can go back over there. Perfect. Whoa, that was a huge jump. My goodness. Did you see that? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is supposed to be scratched and rubbed on, not jumped over. They're using it like a, a obstacle course. Uh-oh, we need some trash cans over here, I just realized. Trash cans, because you guys are gross and disgusting. Leaving your trash everywhere. Okay. Oh, and probably some education, right? Because people are going to be walking over to see these guys because they're so excited because they are the best, right? So let's go ahead and get some education boards around so that people can learn about them. Uh, clouded leopard. Beautiful. Clouded leopard. Great. Awesome. Yeah. So see, now you can learn about them. Donate. Donate. What's going on over here? Vet research? This should be the Babarusa. Yes. Great. And then feeding station cannot be reached. Why? Why is that? Do we not? We do have... We assigned it to a work, uh, work zone. Are we just not... We're just not able to reach, I guess? Let's see if that helps. But I don't, I don't really know why else you wouldn't be able to be reached. You're like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so we'll see. Um, attracted protesters, but they're happy now. Right? Oh, no, they're not. Sp oh, space. It's that bad. Okay. So, goodness, high maintenance. Animals. Let's get rid of this. And then we should be able to... I just whistled on accident. Uh, should be able to take this end and kind of just stretch it out. So there, now you should have plenty of space. Yes, perfect. And you, you don't have hard shelter because I haven't put that up yet, but um, I know they need climbing stuff. Do we have, we don't have any climbing stuff like, yeah, pre-made or anything like that. So let's just do the same thing we did with our Jaguar. Let's actually just go ahead and take this and duplicate it for now because that will offer them some climbing and we don't have to work too hard at it. I just put it directly through that tree though, which is not optimal. There we go. Let's just scoot it over so it doesn't have to clip through the tree. There, so now they've got some climbing. I know, protesters, but look, they're happy now. Look how happy they are. Go away, please. We fixed it. You just needed to give me a minute. They had to settle. They needed to acclimate. Animals aren't happy immediately in a brand new habitat. They have to get used to their new surroundings, and you guys just jump the gun and come screaming at their... You guys are probably stressing them out, to be honest. You're sitting here yelling about things, and they're perfectly happy in here. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. Oh, look! It's gonna climb it already! Oh, so cute. I love these guys. Love, love, love these guys. Awesome. Alright, well, you know, I, I honestly feel like this was a bit of a chaotic episode, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, I am so excited to get these guys in. I wanted to make sure that we got two animals... Uh, those two animals rather in right away and then in the next episode we can definitely do a time lapse and um, why are you upset distressed and trying to hide well go hide look see if you go right in here nobody will bother you um, anyway, <laughs> so I really hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said, I do feel like it was a bit of a chaotic episode, but we got our clouded leopards and our babarusas over here. So hopefully in our next episode, we can do a time lapse and get everything situated more so uh, all nice and pretty, looking like it belongs in the zoo, right? So uh, yeah, that's the plan for next time. So if you did enjoy, if you want to see more, please do remember, leave a like, subscribe, of course course if you want to stay up to date on what we are doing i've got a couple more planet zoo speed builds coming out very very soon in addition to some prehistoric kingdom speed builds as well so thank you guys again so much for watching i will talk at you guys in the next one and in fact let's go ahead let me just go let you look at our clouded leopard since they are definitely the star of the day right there you are so yeah i'll talk at you guys in the next one thanks Bye.